Can you hear me? I got two mics. I don't know which one is working, but we are back, and that is the important thing, folks. With us now is the unknown comic, and he'll be starring in a new film with Linda Blair and Ruth Buzzy. What a combo. <laughs> that opens up May 22nd. It's called Up Your Alley. The unknown comic, everybody. Hairdressers, they gave me this permanent wave. <laughs> oh, gee, I forgot I got my sunglasses on. Look, it's really me. <laughs> All right, let me take this bag off in the first place so you can see what I really look like. Here we go. All right, let's get started. What the Mexican fireman name his two kids, Jose and Jose B. <laughs> Hey, what did Captain Hook die of? Jock itch. <laughs> well, right, what's the difference between mashed potatoes and pea soup? Anyone can mash potatoes. <laughs> Come on, folks, I got 14 more jokes written on the inside of this bag. <laughs> oh, look at she's blushing. I got a joke for you that's gonna make your boobies fall off. <laughs> oh, you already heard it. <laughs> All right, good looking crowd. In fact, let me take a look at this crowd. <laughs> Ooh, we got some weirdos out here today. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, I'll tell you what, it's time now. That's right, it's time now. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. Time now for a little magic, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, magic. I want you all now to notice an empty bag. All right, folks, I'm going to take this white handkerchief. I'm going to place it into the empty bag. It's going. It's going. It's gone. I am not going to take this blue handkerchief and place it into the empty bag with the white handkerchief. I am not going to blow some magic potion into the bag. <laughs> Say the magic words, Epic Kazan, Laney Kazan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the blue handkerchief is now white. The white one is now blue. All right, boo. All right, no, no, that's what I'm gonna have. Nice looking. I was kidding about that little joke, too. In fact, I tell you what, here, I'll give you a dollar if you put your hand in the bag. Go ahead, put your hand in the bag. All right, there's your dollar. See how easy it is to get her to jump in the sack with you? One dollar, ladies and gentlemen. One dollar. Well, you are a good crowd. That's good, because I don't need this job, folks. I do have a paper route. <laughs> no, I used to be a diesel fitter, and that was a lot of fun. Oh, I know you're all saying, what's a diesel fitter? I worked in a pantyhose factory, and they'd pass them down to me, and i go, diesel fitter. <laughs> Wait, some of you people have marvelous control. <laughs> No, I've got to tell you the truth, and the reason why I started wearing the bag, see, I used to be a uh, stuntman in porno films. <laughs> Me and Debbie over here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. In fact, I remember the first time I went to a theater to see a porno film, it was disgusting. <laughs> Finally left after about eight hours. <laughs> well, besides, the screen was beginning to irritate my nose. <laughs> Okay, I tell you what, right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to, I'd like to play a little guitar for you. <laughs> That's right, time now for some rock and roll, everybody. Hey! Hey! What? <laughs> you gotta be sick to do this stuff. <laughs> Put a bag over your head. <laughs> it's not my fault, though. See, when I was a kid, I fell out of this two-story apartment building, and you know, luckily my head broke the fall. <laughs> Yeah, but I had a bad concussion, and my family was poor, and they took me to this cheap doctor, and he put a paper plate in my head. <laughs> it was not bad, except every Sunday I have to go to a picnic. <laughs> and that's why I like country music, because it tells it like it is. You know, it talks about the heart, the soul. It talks about hurt people hurting each other, and women leaving men, and men hurting women. Like my favorite song is, if you want to keep your beer real cold, keep it next to my ex-wife's heart. <laughs> I was like, I'm so miserable since you left. It's almost like you're still here. <laughs> how can I miss you if you won't go away? <laughs> but my favorite is, if your phone don't ring, then you'll know it's me. <laughs> 
And I write songs myself. I do write songs. In fact, I wrote a song about my last girl. It's called All the Toilet Paper in the World Can't Wipe Away My Memories of You. <laughs> <laughs> my wife ran off with my best friend, and boy, I sure do miss him. <laughs> Folks, it's time now for some blues. You guys ready for some blues? Yeah! <laughs> all right, everybody, I need you all to clap your hands like this. Clap your hands. Come on, let's hear it. Hey, 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 all right, hey. <laughs> everybody, everybody. All right. I screwed up. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> These are great for freaking people out. <laughs> I like to go to drugstores when I'm on. <laughs> hey, man, you got any advice? <laughs> go up to a girl and say, excuse me, I uh, want you to have my baby. <laughs> yeah, it's in the car. <laughs> See, because I like to freak people out. That's my goal in life, freak people out. You know, you have fun. And the best way to have fun is to freak people out. Seriously, you could do it too. Next time you go bowling, throw the ball over arm. <laughs> Have fun. Send somebody a postcard with check enclosed written on it. <laughs> if a cop ever stops you for speeding and says, all right, where's the fire? Just look at him and say, it's in your eyes. <laughs> no, I got a ticket last month for an illegal U-turn, you know, which I should have got out of. See, I told the cop, I said, hey, man, you don't understand. <laughs> you see, I was driving down the road, and I said to myself, I better not turn. Then I saw the sign, it said, no, U-turn. <laughs> yeah, the cop had no sense of humor. <laughs> Even when he gave me the ticket where it says, sign here, I put Capricorn. <laughs> That's right, then when he has to see my driver's license, I said, how am I supposed to show it to you when you guys keep taking it away? <laughs> hey, you've been a terrific crowd. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.